Morning. Morning. It's really beautiful in the morning. Good morning, it's a beautiful morning here in Ocenal. My name is Edwin and uh, I just want to share with you about my investment history. We, um, Katarina and I, my wife and I, we moved to, um, to Ocenal uh, from Sweden, Stockholm, Sweden, 2009. We invest a lot of money in a farm and a beautiful uh, beach house or beach rancho. We wanted to uh, you know, start our business here in Nicaragua because we think and still believe that Nicaragua is a very uh, potentially uh, a country that is uh, uh, develop, develop, developing very fast. The Plus Valley is very high. The people is very nice, very gentle, very honest. Uh, and uh, we are very lucky that we, our investment has been uh, increasing and growing uh, pretty fast and uh, unstable. Uh, our experience here in Ocional is that this, this, uh, the Ocional is a, a fisherman village and uh, it's like uh, 800 persons that live there. Everybody, um, almost everybody is a fisherman or has something with the fishing uh, artisanal uh, industry to do. Uh, the persons that work with us, they are a very nice person, very thirsty for knowledge, new knowledge. They are very uh, eager to, to learn new things, how to cook, how to do things, you know, respect the nature around, respect the people. Uh, and that's very nice to, um, to have co-workers that um, are capable to, uh, to learn, easy learning. And, um, and, you know, it's easy to share uh, and develop your ideas when you have co-workers that are in the same at the same wave as you are. So well, we've been here like since 2009. We, uh, we are developing, and just right now, I'm just thinking about, you know, um, go on with my life. We go, we go on with, uh, with uh, two other, you know, uh, enterprises, and, uh, and, and I'm very excited about that, yes. This area called Las Viejas is, and it's located in the south side of the Bay of Ocional. So we have the lot A, B, street, C, D, street. So, uh, so for example, my, my land over here is, um, is a lot A, this is the first lot. It's a street, you have a, you have a lot here, and you have the beautiful ocean right in front of you. So uh, this lot between uh, the ocean and my land is, uh, is a public, it's for public service. So. Um, uh, you know the government or the or the city they can decide to uh, build kind of a, a park for kids or a kind of a uh, but private persons can actually um, apply uh, you know uh, to rent the place you pay like a, let's say once once a year or once a month you know it's up to you how you want to pay and that you can rent the whole place so this lot here is I could say it's like um, 400 square 400 square meters. I don't know how much it is in feet. California, Stanford University behind, you know. So we be it's been good. You've you know? been getting it's been some good, good people. Yeah, good here. people, good structure, okay. well organized. You know? um, well, Katarina and I, we uh, we start our first school in Stockholm, Sweden, uh, 2004. Uh, we work over there. We this school was uh, was operating for for f almost five years. Um, it was, it, it was a beautiful experience. Uh, 
it was a beautiful experience. We had a lot of um, um, students coming to us. We used to have uh, four teacher trainings a year over there. Uh, we had uh, many other kind of uh, uh, um, courses and, and, and education uh, around yoga. We have such a good time. I have such a good time. But we, at some point, uh, 2008, when we, when we were here visiting Nicaragua, Catarina and I, we decided to, to move to, uh, to Nicaragua. I am Nicaraguan myself, uh, and I was, uh, I've been living in Sweden for, for like a 20, 24 years. So I, for me, it was like, a, okay, I'm ready. Go back to Nicaragua. Let's see what happens over there. And our focus, what we wanted to do is invest our money and start an international school for yoga. Uh, when I say international school for yoga is, I mean, uh, the school we have in, in Sweden, we were open, of course, for everybody, but they almost were, they were Swedish and Danish and Norwegian, uh, the people that uh, attend our, our different um, uh, courses and education. But here we thought that the clientele, the, the, the people, uh, they supposed to come from everywhere from the world. So we've been, ha we have people from from Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, from uh, different countries in Africa, North Africa, Euro Europe, like a Swedish, D Dutch, Germans, Spanish, you know, English, a lot of English. Uh, our biggest clientele here is uh, is Americans, uh, North Americans, uh, Canadians, and and from the United States, and. Um, yeah, we, uh, we start with uh, two uh, education, two courses a year. The first year was we have two, July and November, and the next year, 2014, we have uh, five. To, so 2007, we have eight, and now we continue to keep uh, eight, course, uh, eight courses or eight educations a year. Um, the, the business of yoga is growing everywhere in the world, you know, and the competition is pretty hard. But uh, you know, if you have a, a strong, um, a strong uh, syllabus, if you have a strong CV as a yoga teacher, you have your uh, your students. You know, uh, they are well educated, and you respect them. Uh, make sure that they, uh, when when they leave Ocional, they are capable to to teach uh, beginners. I think uh, I think uh, I. I feel pretty confident when that when when we release students from here, when we uh, we give them uh, these uh, uh, certificates, you know, and um, and they help us, you know. Uh, we've been working on, on, on in a, um, you know sharing this uh, this education for the last uh, 11 years or around. So um, now we can see what I can see now. Uh, the pattern is like a three, three, 30 or 40 percent of the students that show up in a course. Uh, they are recommended by an uh, old student. So, um, yeah, so we are well established here. Everybody knows where Ocional is. Uh, and um, yeah, okay. it's such a good time, you know, all the time I live here. This is exactly my dream, you know, my Buddha tree. <laughs> Something, when I don't know. When, if that, somebody else took it over, would you be willing to help out? Or Absolutely, yes, yeah, if somebody, uh, you know, because everything right now is 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 for sale. So um, so if somebody wants to uh, to take over, of course we are we are both Katarina and I. We are willing to uh, to help. You know the the first teacher trainings. You know help help out how to do. You know and how, how to organize the whole things. We have a nice structure already. So uh, so it would be easiest easier. You know for the, the a new person just just to follow the structure. You don't need to, uh, to to create new things. You can put or add new things, your ideas, your passion, but the structure is already there. And um, yeah, absolutely, yeah, we will. I am willing to uh, to, to stay here <laughs> gladly and, and, and help help you out, you know, with that. <laughs> okay. Um, along the road here goes the community pipeline, uh, the water pipe pipeline. So uh, so the water here is from a community well. It's, uh, the well is located in town, so they uh, what they use are uh, big pumps to pump the water to all the houses around Ocinal. How many houses do we have here? A lot, around 500 houses. So we we got the, 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 the water from the pipe for, from the community. We have uh, we have uh, we have two tanks. Uh, we 
you know, we fill it up there every day. Not every day, but you know, uh, when needs, you know. Uh, just in case, sometimes you are, we are pretty off. Um, we are pretty off, so sometimes happen things like uh, uh, we lose the power, you know, for some reason, maybe a, a big tree cut the lines, you know, uh, and without electricity, there is no pump, uh, working pump. So, so it's always good to have a well, you know, at the property, your, your own well, you know, that you, uh, that you need to- Can you show us the well? Yeah, absolutely, oh. absolutely, yes. So your biggest um, classes have been 14 students? Yeah, it's been like a 14, 15 persons, you know. <clears throat> the standard or the average can be between eight and 10 students, you know, which is good, you know, which is good. And many, many students, this is one of the, one of the policy we have uh, because, because, you know, big groups is take too much energy, uh, people, they are uh, they are beginners. It's very hard to understand sometimes, and we want to dedicate. We don't, we want to give uh, our student time to uh, to you know catch up. You know with uh, with all philosophy and history, all the things that uh, we go through. You know during the during, during the education. So uh, we go to the well, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So the community water. The water pipeline goes here and, and goes to this tank and the tank up above over there. Yes. Um, so this is this is full right now. So what we do uh, instead of um, instead of having the tank on on tower um, and, and and take the the, the water uh, down. Uh, for gravity, what we do is so we have a we have a, a compressor here with a you know a, with a normal pump. It's just one horse power pump, and this compressor. What the compressor do is like uh, when it needs the compressor just you know uh, impulse the water all over the place. So you don't so you you don't need you know this uh, dripping. You know oh my god, <laughs> I need I need a, a, a bigger current of water. I need more water. So the pump makes sure that you have enough water to take a shower, to clean things. You know uh, whatever it is. That's that, that's the whole point. You know to uh, to have it high. Like yeah, so, high so I can have on the house. So yeah. so you have water when there is not electricity in your house. Mm -hmm. I always have water. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So this pump, this uh, this this tank, for example, if we don't have any power at all, so this 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 water tank is going to supply water on the on the mark level, you know, and uh, that that one is going to supply water to the house. So you always have water. Yeah. Great. And do you have a well on property too? Yeah. Uh, the well is right here. Here is the well. Yeah, you take a look. First. You can see here, you have a watch your phone. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see that again. <laughs> so, uh, so this is uh, this is our res res uh, reserve of water. Yeah. So uh, when we don't have water at all, what we do is we just take the water out. Yeah, from from that. And I don't know how many. How many, I think it's like a 120 um, acres, I think, I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure, but it, but 72 manzanas, which is the, the, the mission system in Nicaragua. Uh, one manzana is 7,000 square meters. So, uh, so we have this farm, we bought it 2008, 2009, bought it, and um, you know, it's it's been like an ex experimental, you know, uh, um, farm, we've been uh, doing different, Different projects and different things over there, you know, like a like a growing organically, you know, uh, 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 non organically, you know, and uh, you know, just we've been uh, trying to understand how things work when it, when you have a farm. We have horses, we have you know, chickens, pigs, and things like that. You know, all the animals and uh, all the students are very happy. I am very happy to have them. And um, but the most important what's going on right now, right now at the farm is. The farm itself is part of the La Flor River Bank. So that means that 
a, a big part of the sediment that goes down to the river comes from the farm. And the sediment that goes down to the river is very important because this sediment goes to the ocean. And this is the sediment, this is the food for the sea turtles. That's why the sea turtles come to La Flor, you know, because there are so much sediment, there, are, there is so much food, you know, there. And they are, of course, they are protected by, by, by the government and, the, and different uh, institutions. So, um, so, so this is part of, uh, part of this, uh, this circle of life, you know. And uh, so what we are going to, what we are doing since, um, since six, six years ago, what we are doing is reforesting the farm. We are reforesting the farms. So, so far, right now, right now, um, together with Paso Pacifico and Stanford University, we've been uh, we've been planting like uh, forty thousand trees. Uh, let's say that fifty percent just they are gone because of the drought, you know, because of animals, whatever it is. So we have like a uh, my calculation is it's like a fifteen thousand to twenty. 15,000 to 25,000 trees that are alive and all the trees are are native trees so um, so that means that th those trees are native are they are they live in symbiosis with with the animals you know with the fauna uh, and the and, and the flora itself you know that surrounds those trees so they they attract animals and they attract other other trees to to the place so it's uh, it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful to see, you know, how how, how things happens, how nature, you know, uh, uh, recover from 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 suffering, you know, because uh, nature suffers too. We see that everywhere in the world. So this is what we are doing with with the farm right right now, uh, reforesting. So this year, for example, in May, we took like uh, a 1,500 new trees in the farm. It was very fun. Was very, it's, it's a lot of fun to do something for for nature, and uh, and we see that that you know how how fast nature recover. So as soon as you you just put a, a small tree, a little tree, you know, uh, on 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 the soil. So so right now I think uh, nature in the forum is kind of laughing, having a good time. It's happy, you know, to uh, to to feel that like like uh, the environment around the farm. Is uh, is connected with a lot of love and yoga and, and you know humility, you know, and uh, honesty, you know. So um, yeah, I'm I'm happy for the farm. <laughs> I'm happy for the farm. Yes, uh, uh, this farm is uh, is very peculiar. The 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 terrain is very peculiar. Why do I say that? Because because uh, when you go um, the lowest point of the farm. This, this farm starts at Rio Ocional, Ocional River. Uh, so, so the river is part of the of, is part of the the farm. The lowest point is four four meters over sea level, and the highest point is two hundred eight uh, meters over sea level. So it's pretty high. And uh, when you walk up to the hill, you walk you walk on terraces. You know, you walk on terraces, so there are terraces everywhere there, and every one of them they are facing towards the ocean. So when you are up in the terrace or up at the the highest point, you have a fantastic, you know, uh, uh, um, v a, a, a landscape, you know, in front of you. This the ocean is right there, you know, and and, and it's so it's so beautiful, you know. You feel, uh, you know, the tranquility. From the ocean, and you feel the, the tranquility from the, the the woods, from from the farm that is thanking you because you are, you know, helping and, and and the nature is helping you, you know, to feel to feel good, to feel you know, uh, to feel to feel yoga, to feel union, you know. So uh, so it is very very beautiful. Uh, if you can show some respect to nature, you can for sure build very nice bungalows or whatever you want to to build. You know, uh, uh, ask nature first. Hey, what can we do here? You know, and, and for sure, nature will will say that. Hey, this is what fits here. You know, and uh, if you follow up your heart and follow up nature's, you know, desire, I think uh, I think you can you, you can you can build very beautiful, very beautiful uh, houses or or bungalows over there. You know, up in the trees, maybe. You know, you never know. 
so uh, it's a it's a lot of hardwood it's a lot of uh, it's very nice uh, wood you have a spring water uh, two spring water over there up in the hill so it's fresh water coming coming from the ground and that we are trying to cultivate cultivate those uh, those spring waters because uh, because they dry if you don't take care of them they dry so we are trying to cultivate and the way you cultivate uh, spring water is uh, to plant in trees that attract or pull up the water yeah that's that's what we do and uh, the, the fauna over there is beautiful we have ocelots we have uh, skunks we have uh, white-faced monkeys we have haulers we have uh, you know wild horses over there all the horses we have the, we don't we don't we don't uh, 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 we don't use them for uh, working horses we just use it for you know to 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 get them back in, in in nature so they are very happy we have a lot of animals over there a lot of snakes and things you know so uh, it's nature you know so um, so the food change at that place over there is pretty complete I think it's we just missing a few animals but uh, we are working on taking back the whole thing you know and uh, and and complete the chain the food chain in in the area Nice. Yes. And you say you're working with Stanford or other colleges? Yeah, we are. Uh, we work just uh, right right now. We are working still with uh, Ohio University uh, engineer faculty because they are they they are the one that uh, um, uh, are going to help us to rebuild the school in Monte Cristo. Then, yeah. So we are working with that with them with those guys. And before that, for like a five six years ago. When we came here, we start to work with uh, with Paso Pacifico. Uh, Paso Pacifico is an organization that that works uh, for the environment along the, the 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 Pacific coast. And those guys, they have a uh, huge help, knowledge. Uh, they take all the knowledge and help from from Stanford, Stanford University. So uh, yeah, so we are happy, you know, to. Um, to co-work with uh, serious organizations, you know, like that, because uh, there are so many different organizations and uh, and uh, they are not that good sometimes. Hmm. Department of Rivas or Ocional belong to the Department of Rivas, and Rivas is um uh, is a pretty big department, and uh, uh, the whole the whole uh, department has a coast along the Pacific coast. is uh, is very windy here. And that's why you can see when you drive towards a city, the city of Rivas, or you uh, drive towards Managua, uh, you will see so many windmills, you know, along the coast because it's very windy. So Rivas, the department of Rivas, um, I think I believe it is like a 40% of the energy that is coming and, 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 and um, <clears throat> the energy we use, it's coming from those windmills. So it's... Uh, so it's kind of, um, it's, you know, it's coming from nature, you know, it's the wind that's producing the energy. So we, uh, so we try to, I think the government is trying to, uh, to slow down with, uh, with the, with, with the, uh, you know, petroleum, you know, uh, to reduce the, 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 the quantity of usage of pet petroleum. And we are, uh, they are investing money in, in, in windmills and, and, and sun cells, you know, all kind of, uh, a more, uh, reliable and um, you know consistent kind of power. So Rivas, 40% of Rivas energy is coming from the windmills. Las Viejas, that's the name, Las Viejas, the old woman's <laughs> Las Viejas. And um, here are around um, 40 lots. And the biggest lot is like uh, 3,000 square meters. So the, so the lots, they are not that big. Uh, that's the biggest one, and is the one in, in the corner. But the other lots are they are like a 600 square meters, a 400 square meters. So, uh, so as you hear, it's not like a big land for sale. It's just lots, you know. So, so we don't have. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't feel, you know, uh, nervous or or uh, 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 feel some anguish because some big. Uh, Big shots go, is coming here and buy the old land and and, and build a big a big a hotel hotel or a resort you know so uh, so it's more for private persons yeah. Do you know if if either that lot or that lot would be available in the future to the new owner? Why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? You know everything is uh, is is kind of uh, uh, open for new opportunities. You know so uh, you know yeah why not yeah.
Uh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, here is the, the structure. You know, the houses and uh, the infrastructure. So we have uh, the kitchen here. It's a 30 square meters big kitchen and a, and a storage room. Uh, the kitchen, you can produce food for, you know, from one person to 100 persons. Um, you have two restrooms here. Two restrooms. You have uh, one with a shower and the other one is just a restroom. Uh, a toilet. We have the main house here to... You have two story here, the the level. Uh, uh, house is this is uh, the, the the living room. It's just a living room, and we have a a, a walk-in closet and a, and, a, and, a, and a toilet with a shower, restroom, and a big walk-in closet. The house is 65 square meters totally, so you can you can do it bigger if you want to. You know, it's a, no problem with that. And uh, over there we have. Uh, the, the typical Nicaragua rancho, you know, uh, is the kind of rancho that Nicaraguans build uh, as a beach house, you know, it has to be open. Uh, you need a lot of wind because it's, a, it's very hot here, so you need, you need to open over there. Uh, totally, the area is uh, like 100, uh, a, a little bit more than 100 square meters, and it's a uh, it's, um, combination of wood and, uh, and terracotta bricks. Uh, terracotta tail so uh, it's a very very beautiful place and the wood the, the tail the wood is very resistant to for you know for sun uh, rain so it's a very well constructed it's very nice and up up there you have uh, you have a room it's a two bedrooms over there uh, with a nice beautiful balcony uh, looking towards the ocean so the whole place is 600 square meters and it's I think it's well plan planned, you know, you, you have, you can be, uh, you know, you, you're always outside, you know, you are always outdoor, you know, and uh, uh, because it's so beautiful to, to, uh, to um, uh, be in the nature, you know, so well. And we try all the time, you know, uh, planting uh, trees that belong to this area, like uh, noni trees, you know, uh, oranges, mangoes, tree, you know, uh, uh, you have a big one hour on a tree over there, so. So there is, I try to, to plant as much as I can, so, because it's important with shade too, you know. So, um, yes, this is it.